way that you guys are able, you know, playing right now and finishing this season out, that you guys can, you know, make a run once you guys get in there? I think this whole year we've maintained confidence that uh, we can be the, the team that uh, that we're showing we are right now. We obviously have a lot of work to do, but it's nice to have good vibes rolling into this part of the year, try to, you know, finish the year strong. A lot could happen with the seeding and all that, but we know it's going to come down to probably two games next week that can give us a chance to kind of reset and go win a playoff series. But, you know, it's the way that we're doing it, the way that we're playing, playing at a consistent level, it's inspiring. Uh, now we just kind of ride the wave until, uh, uh, until you know, next week. Draymond was talking about when I guess he got into like there was a a non call on on him that he was arguing with the ref but he said Steph was right there and he kind of kept me in check or kind of stood up for him. What was what was your recollection of that play? I think it was Austin Reeves across across his mouth or his face. Yeah, it's one of those like we always talk about Draymond. They say walking the line, whatever that means, yeah. uh, showing his competitive side. You know. He thought he got hit, said something. There's a little quick uh, wall that was put up um, by, I think it was Justin. And, no, it was Jason, I think. But anyway, it was, a, it was a conversation that I felt like was fair on both sides. And once Draymond moved away, it was just like, hey, like don't let it be a reputation thing. He wasn't disrespectful. He was just demonstrative, and that's – that's fair game for a lot of people in the league. And uh, at the end of the day, just move on. That's a message for Draymond, but for uh, for us to have his back when he's walking the line the right way. And he did that tonight. Was that you just kind of like diffused the situation in a way? For sure. Um, and just make sure, like, I'm not going to ever tell Draymond at that point, like, as long as he's not a stepping over, overboard, like, like don't talk. But there is a there is a moment where, okay, you made yourself heard, and now let's let's play basketball. And he did that to perfection. So he doesn't need a babysitter in that respect. Like, don't get that twisted. But it's, you know, just trying to read the room, read the situation. Hey, Steph. Uh, Steve has coached the team through a lot this season, including obviously Dre's suspension, uh, you know, asking Hall of Famers, Clay, Chris, to come off the bench, young guys' expectations. How would you evaluate just sort of how he has handled it all? It's a very difficult job for sure. We have a lot of options. You know, there's a, I think for three years now, we've been talking about the the vets and the championship core and the young guys and trying to mix and match and put the right lineups out there. And like you say, you dealt with uh, availability problems all year, whether it's uh, you know Draymond's situation or whether it's injuries. And you could probably argue that there's eight or nine guys that could be in you know closing lineups, could be in starting lineups. <clears throat> you got Trace in there now. Um, you know, the way J.K.'s come on, like, there's just so many things to balance, and I don't envy that job at all because it's, it's difficult and it's about managing people and keeping people, you know, motivated to say, hey, whatever you're asked to do, go do it, and it helps the team, and he's very consistent with that message, so um, 